are prepared no matter what is coming your way, and a lot of that has to do with the gear. So mm -hmm. Frankie has put together what you might need in an emergency. Yeah. We're going to start with a generator. Yeah. Which is really important because power is something that you know we're all very dependent on. So yeah. if you've got backup. Are these things easy to find, easy well, to store? Generators come in many different shapes and sizes. You mm -hmm. can get a permanent generator that's going to be attached to your home that can cost you f multiple thousands of dollars. Or you yeah. can get one like this that's going to cost you a few hundred of dollars. Uh, you've been in an ice storm before where you've been yes. without power. And so the eastern seaboard, major ice storm. You think that you're going to be okay. You go out to get ice and water and battery and batteries within about 12 hours, everything's gone. Yeah, generators are gone generally then generators too. Generators <laughs> are gone. Candles are gone. Yeah. All of the stuff you think, well, I'll just get this at the store. Well, there's one store open. It's apocalyptic, yeah. and everything has been cleared off the shelves. Yeah. So if you're not prepared, you're really in trouble. Yeah, and the other part, too, is to be knowledgeable. Sometimes yeah. you, you run out and you get a generator, and you'll just think, I'll put it inside the garage and start it up and run a power cord in. No, no, no. This has exhaust, this is an engine, this is run by gas, so fumes, a lot of the times, these can cause a bigger problem than causing that convenience to have power. So, right. you know, if you do it before you get into that situation, you'll have time to educate yourself on it, have a strategy where you can place it, yes. uh, have the right cords to run it through, and be the neighbor that everybody wants to bring all their food to. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, I have uh, what's called a life straw here. This is an amazing device, this life straw okay. device. Let's say that you're in a hurricane, the aftermath of a hurricane, and you run out of water. This actually has a purification tab in that you can just go up and go drink out of a river or a puddle. Oh, and uh, yeah, this is usually used for those that are in survival uh, when you're in the outdoors or you're yes. in certain areas. But this is an amazing thing. There's also purification tabs that can be purchased as well. Okay. Just to let you know, if you're thinking about uh, what should I plan for, it's usually about 72 hours. That's what they say on hours. average. Um, uh, people, if you had a four person home, mm -hmm. uh, usually two liters of water per person yeah. for up to three days. Would you do the thing where you just fill up the bathtub? Well, that's always a good idea. Yeah. You know, it's fill always a good idea. Yeah, tub. fill up the bathtub. Uh, that way, uh, there's going to be extra water, but even just to flush the toilets and things like that's that right. after the it's really a good idea. Okay. Uh, probably the most uh, important thing a whistle. Yeah. Um, that's actually my coaching whistle. Um, <laughs> but this whistle as well is just to let people know that you're in distress, to let yes. people know where you're located. Let's say that a tornado happens and you're caught inside the home and you should mm. be in the basement away from windows in an area, but the whole house is collapsed around you and emergency crews are coming to find. You can blow that whistle and let mm -hmm. people know. That's a I'm really good here, thing. I'm under here, right? Yeah. Hey, yo, I'm over here. Yeah. Uh, always great to have a safety kit. Always really so what's good. in this one? You've got like, I mean, there's Everything. regular band-aids, there's gauze, well, yeah. what's this, blanket? This is actually a neck brace that oh, you can wow. have. Okay. Uh, th there's everything here that's even after bite and other things that you mm. could encounter. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many different safety kits, but yes. they're really good to have. As being a hockey coach, yes. uh, I have one of these really quite close to me Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Uh, flashlight, right? Oh, this is crucial. Yeah, flashlight. But look, I forgot the friggin' battery. Uh-oh. No worries. What do we do? No worries. This one here, solar. Oh. So this is a solar. Nice. I, I really like this because this floats. Yes. Uh, as well as this one will charge your phone. Oh my gosh. Right? That is so excellent. That way I can take pictures of Instagram while I'm in the really bad. So my selfies. That's what no, 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 I'm joking. <laughs> it's really important to make sure that you maintain communication. Yeah, absolutely. Really you need important. that line outside of wherever you are so you can call emergency services, transistor radio. But also a flashlight. This one here. Oh. This is, how, this is how we can wind it up. Yes. It's radio. It's also oh, flashlight. You can see the lights just on there okay, right now. Okay, so this is it just runs on its own power. You wind it up and that's yep. the power source, which is amazing. And USB as well. And USB. So then Incredible. I can charge my phone as well with that. Very good. And finally, I this, have no idea what this is. This is a blanket? This is a safety blanket. So this safety is blankets. this is an emergency blanket that yeah. will roll up and fit into something as small as this okay. that you can put in your car couple of things that are important. Number one, orange on that side, to tell if somebody's flying high over above, yes. they can see you. The mm -hmm. other part too is this side here, if you flip it, yeah, and you can also go inside. That it will also radiate your heat, keep heat within okay. uh, during cold periods. It's, so a sleep, that's really it's important. like a sleeping bag. Yeah, and that's from Mech, from Mountain Equipment Call. Okay. Yeah. You get in there with your family, it's a nice cozy time. No, but it's important to make sure, yeah. I know, it's you, important. Have to, you have to maintain the, the body heat. Little things, always remember, just be prepared. That's be why we prepared. have baby booms during ice storms. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. have to maintain the body no heat. No Netflix, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Well, I guess we'll talk. Really good, <laughs> Peter, get out and get your emergency kits. Yeah. Thanks for that, Frankie. Thanks.